Hey Jessica, so today I'm doing a quiz. A lot of you guys wanted me to make an additional episode for this week on my channel because I was sharing with you my top 10 tips for deciding a career pathway. So I'm actually gonna be sharing with you a really effective or useful quiz that I found online and I thought we could do it together. Um, I'm also gonna leave it on one of my recent blog posts on studywithjess.com if you wanted to go and print out the questions and even do it with your friends and kind of see what you come up with. But the whole idea is that it's aimed to provide you with more guidance and clarity on what it is that you want to do and help you find your dream job. So let's get into the quiz. All right, so these questions are all fill in the blanks. So I'm going to read them out and then I'm also going to tell you how I would answer these questions. But if you guys want, then I'd love to read your answers as well. So just comment them below. Okay, so question one is my friends always say I'm great at blank because blank. So for me, I would say my friends always say I'm great at studying because I have good study skills. The next question is, if I had a free Saturday to be working on anything, I would blank because blank. So personally, if I had a free Saturday to do whatever I wanted, I'd probably be spending it designing stationery because I just love being creative and I love sketching and drawing and just being innovative, coming up with different ideas. Question three is, if I had to go back and study, I would choose blank because blank. So I finished a postgraduate diploma of psych and I really enjoyed it, but if I had to do something different, I would probably choose something more creative like graphic design because I think that they're the kind of skills that I would be utilizing today with the kind of work that I do as well. Question four is I've always wondered what it would be like to blank because blank. So I've always wondered what it would be like to meet you guys because I just love meeting new people and interacting with others and getting to know about other people's lives and yeah, just finding out more about other people and, and also traveling. Question five is the thing I love most about my current job is blank because blank. So the thing I love most about my current job is that I get to help people because it gives me a sense of purpose and it really just inspires me to keep doing what I'm doing. Question six is if I had the right skill set or education, I'd definitely try blank because blank. So if I had the right skill set or education, I would definitely try designing homes and doing something more like interior design perhaps because I love being creative, but I also think that your environment is so important and it can facilitate positive feelings and feeling inspired and feeling happy and it really affects your mental health. Number seven is if I could choose to trade lives with anyone in the world, I would choose blank because blank. I would probably choose Emma Watson because I really value that she stands up for whatever it is that she believes in and she's not afraid to speak out. So I really admire that in a person and I think it would be fantastic to have the opportunities that she has to affect and change so many people's lives for the better. Question 80 is if I had the time I would do more of blank because of blank. So if I had the time to do more of something, it would probably be yoga because I think it's really important to work on both your mind and your body. And for me personally, whenever I go to yoga, I feel more calm and on top of everything in my life. And I think it's really important that I manage my own stress levels so that I can be the best person that I can be. Question nine is the last question. It's probably my favorite, which is when I retire, I want to be known for blank because blank. So when I retire or grow old, I want to be known for making a positive difference to people's lives because I think at the end of the day, we want to be able to look back on our lives and feel like we had meaning and purpose and that we've made a positive change in the world and that we're leaving a better world behind than the one that we entered. All right guys, so once you're done answering all of these nine questions, it's really important that you can look over them and try and find some recurring themes. So it might not be exactly clear cut what it is that you should be doing in your future as a career, but the whole idea is that you might identify particular patterns in your answers. So there might be a lot of different answers relating to fashion or relating to helping people or relating to sport, and that's gonna be able to steer you in the right direction. So as I said, if you guys enjoyed today's episode and you want to print out the questions, then just head over to studywithjess.com and I'm going to have one of my recent blog posts with all of these questions. And if you did enjoy today's episode, then give it a thumbs up to let me know and show me some love. And also, if you wanted to access more Life with Jess, then subscribe to my second channel. I'll link that down below. All right, guys, I'll see you next Wednesday with more study tips. Love you and have a happy and productive week. Bye.